Hannah, go ahead, Alana. Dave, we feel like a bit of a broken record here, but once again, your bullpen coming up big, having to eat up, you know, six innings of, of ball today. What do you make of, of their effort and, and their performance this afternoon? Well, they were, they were great. Um, Victor continues to pound the strike zone, be aggressive. Um, there was some soft contact in there. I thought he pitched great. Um, extended flow a little bit. And Scotty, to get him back in there, I thought that was great. All those guys did a great job, and um, we had a handful of guys that were down today. So, yeah, to cover six innings was big going to that off day. We spoke briefly after Tony Gonsolin's third inning. Overall, um, what was your assessment of his performance today? The first time all year he's given up an earned run. Um, I thought I thought it was good. I, I mean, it wasn't. I, I thought that um, he could have come out a little bit more aggressive. Um, he just didn't really have that command of that split change. Um, but you know, Tony still that, that third inning, a lot of stress right there and to get out of there with no runs. Um, I think he grew a lot today. Um, and you know, he'll make his next start. You guys as a team set a national league record for home runs in a calendar month with 57, um, not only a franchise record, but a, a national league record in a ballpark that seems to want to rob the long ball. Uh, what do you make of, of setting yet another historic mark? Albeit there's a DH in the NL this year. I get that, but it's still, it's still a record. No, it, it's, it's still a record. And, um, you know, it's just a byproduct of swinging the good pitches. And, um, you know, I, I don't know how well the ball's carrying compared to the last couple of years, but, um, it, it just, it's amazing to see the talent that we have in our lineup, really. And um, just conducting good at-bats and elevating it. Um, you know, you saw that today. Will Smith did a really nice job. Cody, um, you know, Corey Early. Just up and down, one through nine, we can beat you. Max and Cody seem to be getting some traction together at the same time. What have you noticed um, of them lately? Um, I, I think that um, Max is doing a better job of staying to the big part of the field. Um, you know, when he's not going well, you see the grounder to the first baseman, second baseman. Um, I think he's doing a much better job of staying through the baseball. Um, but he's always done a good job of getting on base. Um, and, and Cody, it, it's been going pretty well for quite some time and just continue to conduct good at bats. But, yeah, he, he's getting to a really good place. Thank you. Yep. Next question is from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead. Hey, Dave, you mentioned Victor Gonzalez. What, what, is, what has impressed you about him? Um, just his, his heartbeat, um, his stuff. There's swing and miss stuff against the lefty, against the righty with the slider. And, uh, you know, when he – sinks that uh, arm side fastball up, it's a grounder. And so, um, you know, just the stuff, 94, 97, and uh, just the way that the moment, you know, from what I've seen so far, can't get too big for him. Thank you. Next question is from Stephen Hawking. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Hey Dave, sorry if you got, if you got asked this minute, I was just a little bit legging on, but you guys have just kept winning series and just you've come back. This is two series in a row. You've had to win the last two games. Just talk about what it says about this club and just the role you guys are on right now. Um, I, I think it just speaks to the mindset, you know, regardless of you know, losing the first game of a series. I think we're trying to win every game and there's no panic in the clubhouse. And it's we really take pride in how we play the game. And, you know, you take how we – prepare and play the game with the talent. We're going to win a lot of games. So um, the goal is to keep winning series and uh, do that indefinitely. So I, I certainly like what we've done all year. Let me ask you one other question about the other side. Obviously, um, you were with Woody for long, for several years. You had him on your staff. Just what's been your impression of what he's done on the other side? And, and obviously, he's got a little bit of a challenge going on. But what he's done and what you think he can do over there? Um, I, I think he's done a great job as far as on the culture side. It just seems like these guys are playing together. Um, there are some young guys kind of, you know, infused now. Um, just letting these guys be themselves, play, have fun, be positive. Um, and, you know, Woody is definitely a student of the game, and he'll get the most out of these guys. So I, I really believe 
a lot of good things are coming uh, for the Rangers. Next question is from Ron Kavner. Go ahead, Ron. Hey, Dave, you, you touched on it a little bit, but um, to, to see Tony, it's been such smooth sailing for him all, all year to be able to battle out of, out of that inning and a taxing 39-pitch inning for him. Did that show you anything? How, how important is it to see that, especially from a young starter? It's huge, I think, for any starter right there um, to, to be in that situation and to find a way to make pitches and after they spoil good pitches to continue to um, make pitches. And that Frazier at bat was one of the best, uh, uh, you know, pitcher hitter battles I've seen all year. And for our guy not to uh, give in and ultimately punch it with a split was, was big, I think, for his confidence and, and growth going forward. Thank you. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead, Bill. Just to finish up on Tony, uh, you mentioned he'll make his next start. That's always a very nebulous thing with Tony. Does this mean he sticks around, uh, stays in the rotation, or what? Yeah, you know what? We got the off day coming up, and we still got to figure out uh, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, but when he lines up next, when we pencil him in, I just think that Tony's done such a good job for us. So for us, so to get him in there um, as a starter would be great. Um, you know, at some point, if it doesn't happen, then um, he'll be ready to pitch. But I'm just really proud of what he's done for us as a starter. So not going back to USC anytime soon? Um, that's not the plan right now. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Thank you.